Okay, on mute. Who, who, oh, Joe, <laughs> I was say, seeing who we got. Hey, Joe, um, how does it feel after, you know, coming off that win, you saw the tape, um, what were the biggest takeaways uh, for you guys? Um, you know, it was amazing, uh, you know, to, to get our first SEC win. Um, you know, the biggest takeaways, you know, for us was that we, we, we you know, uh, we don't we don't get happy from this because uh, we still have a lot to prove. You know we're not getting big headed from this. Um, you know we, we're taking this W and we're moving forward into into getting our defense even better than what it was Saturday. Bob. Uh, yeah, uh, Joe. Um, you know it's not often a guy plays off the bench and gets SEC Co-Defensive Player of the Week. I don't know if it's ever happened before, but what what what, what did that mean? Yeah. What what have the what, what have you thought of your season so far? Um, you know, um, uh, yes, yes, I was coming off the bench. You know, um, I trust Coach Odom. You know, everything he 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 doing he's doing is not to hurt me. Um, it's to put me in the best position. Um, you know that I want to be in. So, um, you know, I, I I didn't I didn't think too much of you know coming off the bench. I just wanted to make a play for my team in the whole state of Arkansas. Yeah, Joe, uh, a lot different team this week than you're facing. I don't think it's any secret you guys can't just run three, two, six and drop eight the whole time against these guys. What do you see from Auburn's offense and in particular uh, Bo Nix? Uh, you know, uh, uh, Bo Nix, you know, he's a, he's a good quarterback. Um, he can scramble the pocket. Um, you know, he can throw good. He can throw on the run. So, um, you know, we're going to we're gonna mix it up a lot this this game. You know, um, our defense is very versatile. We can, we can play a lot of coverage. We can play man zone. Uh, we can do a lot, you know, with, with, with Coach Odom and Coach Carter. You know, the, the things that they got going for our defense, you know, are, are so amazing because we – we don't run the same defense uh, every Saturday. So y'all going to get a lot of different things this weekend, you know, versus a different opponent. Um, we, we're going to play a little bit of every, every coverage this, this Saturday. Hey, Joe, according to Pro Football Focus, you guys have the best pass coverage grade um, in the SEC through two weeks. I guess just what's your thoughts on that and what do you think has led to that? Um, uh, like like Coach Carter said, man, our goal at the end of the at the end of the season is to be the best defense in the country. So um, that's pretty much expected, you know, um, because we work for that. You know, we we are still putting in work for that. Um, so so yeah, man. Like I said, uh, that's our goal is to be the best defense in the country, and that's and that's going to show consistently throughout every game. Thank you. Joe, uh, you and Greg Brooks both came up with big plays. Um, what does it mean to you to put on for Louisiana? And it's crazy that you said that um, because, you know, he got me going. You know, I was on the bench, uh, you know, and I was I was looking at him. He came up to me and he, he was like, let's go, brother. And I was like, I got you, bro. So it came for my time. Man, and then I came to him. He was like, he was like, that's crazy, bro. You know, he was like, both of us got to pick it. We from, you know, we from Louisiana. And, and that's like, you know, that, that, that moment still, like, it still kind of make me happy, you know, uh, with, with him saying that to me. And it was like, it was everything because that's everything we dreamed of, you know, before we came to Arkansas. Even when he was being recruited to come here, that's our dream of, of us balling at the same time at a big, at a high level. You know, you know Joe, I'm, I'm sure you know Chad Morris is the Auburn offensive coordinator, so he's He's scheming up this week to try to go against your all's, uh, you know, defense. You know, um, well, what do you think about going against Coach Morris? And do you think he has any kind of advantage because he recruited some of you guys? Obviously, coached you. You know, was with the team for two seasons. I mean, I mean, you know, uh, he can he can game plan, scheme all he wants. You know, we we are we are getting ready as a defense. You know. For for whatever he throw at us, trick plays, anything, it don't matter. We we're gonna be ready as a defense. We're gonna be dialed in. We're gonna be focused. We we're gonna be ready for whatever Coach Morris has ready for, has ready to throw at us. We're gonna we're gonna be all over it. That's that's all I can say about that. Okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, Shivers, the running back, has been banged up. But uh, Tank Tank Bigsby, the freshman number four, what are you seeing out of him? Um, looks like a pretty pretty tough runner. Um, you know, um, 
to me, um, I think Hill was a was a pretty tough runner as well, you know. Um, and 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 we we kind of was all over him. So I, I mean, him as a running back, you know, you know, being a powerful back and this and that is is not going to really. To me, I, I don't think it's going to affect us because you know the first two games, our D line has been controlling the offensive front. Um, you know they they've been they've been getting pressured. So I, I really think our defense is going to you know stop the run. You know our our linebackers is going to be there to stop the run. Uh, stop the run. Um, our linebackers have been playing really well. So I'm not concerned about him as well. I I think the biggest deal is going to be you know the passing on the back end. Scotty. Hey Joe, just what have you thought about the defense's tackling through two weeks, uh, and especially you know last week? I know you guys didn't allow a lot of yards after catch like LSU did when it played Mississippi State. Um, and we had a good week of practice. You know, we was running to the ball as a, as a unit. Um, wasn't one person, two pe pe people running into the ball. It was all eleven. So our tackling, you know, we we are confident when we were coming up to hit because I know. You know, Greg is gonna be the if I'm if I don't make this you know outside hit that I'm supposed to make. So I will you know we're being taught that just go you know don't hold back just go um, because I got um, ten more people running to the ball so I can be as confident as I want. Jordan. Yeah, Joe, you and Bumper co-defensive players of the week. What does it mean to you to get that nod from the SEC? And can you talk a little bit about Bumper's role on the defense and? kind of any leadership role that he plays? You know, um, Bump, um, you know, we we, we kind of came in together. So, like, just seeing that, that you know, that award, you know, it was it was crazy because, you know, what we went through the, the last two years, it, it wasn't really, you know, good for us. But, you know, for us to, you know, just go out there and have success, like, it was it was amazing because, um, you know, I felt like we 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 was doubted, like you know what I'm saying, as at his position and at my position. So just showing them that the talent that we have and, and that we can go out there and do it, we can be one of those guys. It was, you know, it was it was a great thing to see. And then uh, Bumper Pool, you know, he's a, he's a he's a good leader for our team, you know, and definitely for his for his group. Um, he he always making plays. Like he he's he's been put in the right position to make plays and. He's gonna run to the ball. He's gonna run to the ball full speed, and I know this, you know, because like it was a play where I had the outside containment, and I knew for a fact that Bumper Pool was gonna be there for the inside hit if he was to go inside. Okay. Um, yeah, one eleven, eighteen. The wide receivers. You talked about that a, a little bit about the past game on my last question, but those guys played against you last year. Um, one Schwartz is a guy with a lot of speed. He's like a ten flat 100 meters guy. Yeah. What do you remember about those wide receivers? What do they what do they bring to the table? Are they doing anything different this year? Yeah, um, you know, I hear a lot of people talk about, you know, his speed and, you know, how fast he is. And at the end of the day, this is a football physical game. So, you know, that's that's our plan, you know, to get physical um, from the first quarter to the fourth, you know, and, and we, we know he's going to run. So we we, we are going to be well prepared for that. Um, we we had a great week. Uh, we had a great day today at practice, you know, um, we're treating, we're treating receivers like our scout team, like a speed guy, you know, not being last day of school, um, getting out, you know, so we, we're going to be ready for the speed. We know the speed that he have. And like last year, I didn't really see too much. Uh, from from those guys, you know, um, with catching wise and things like that, you know, and the speed, I didn't I didn't really fear too much either. I'm definitely not gonna fear their speed this year. Bob. There again, I'm muted there. Hey, kind of following up on on Trey's question. Each of those, uh, I think uh, Schwartz had 130 some receiving yards, and and Williams had over a hundred, I think he had right at 102 touchdowns. So um, those guys were pretty good last year. What, what do you think yeah. you gotta do to keep them in check? Yeah, um, so the other guys gonna have to step up. Um, uh, you, like like the two receivers you just named, that's their main target. So the rest of the receivers are gonna have to make a play. So Bo Nix is gonna have to pick other receivers to throw the ball to because I know for a fact and my defense is going to hold me up to that that one in 18 are not going to have the ball in their hands most of the time like it's, it's he's going to have to throw it somewhere else. Okay. 
that's 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 all I gotta say about that. He's he's gonna have to look for other targets. That's one, Trey. As a defense, do you guys do much wet ball stuff? I mean, it's going to rain, but uh, I know that's probably something the offense works on. And maybe you can fill me in if the offense has done much on that. But do you, you guys work on it? You got to catch the ones they throw to you, too. He's on mute for me. Yes, yeah, so I was going to use, um, you know, like Coach Pittman said uh, today in, in, in meetings uh, that you have an eagle. You have a hawk. A eagle, when it's raining, cold, go inside, right? You know, a hog, we we love that mud, we love that water. So that's what we're gonna be out there Saturday. We're gonna be some wild hogs getting dirty, muddy, rainy. We don't we we're gonna be in that weather. So we're not concerned about that. You know, we just we just ready to, to go play, you know, to, to keep showing the world what we have here at Arkansas. That's that's what we're gonna do. Thank you. Thank you.